Welcome to part number 7 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're going to be doing all the OutRun races in this particular stage. And at the very end, we're going to rice the car out. So what are you been waiting for? <laughs> if they had done that, people would have been complaining about waiting. Oh yeah, they should have spent... Oh, okay, because LT said they should have spent 5 years waiting on GT7, and everything would have been good. Yeah, like, I think that's the problem too. Yeah, you look like you're gonna stay behind the traffic, girl. Yo, get real, man. That wind should have been mine. What are you talking about? You got stuck behind cars because I pushed you into the cars. How's that wind yours? True UFC, that is true. But I just hope that if 7 does exist, like, I'm pretty sure all this DLC we're getting, it's gonna be all for like 7. That's what I'm guessing here. Damn! Yeah, of course. He freaking slams into traffic and then his rubber banding's gonna kick in now. I think it's aged well, though. Are you talking about, like, those little race cars? Like, 450 or 550 PP cars? Those are the funnest to drive for me. Like, my one wish list, honestly, like, I see all these people who have wish lists for GT Sport, and the one thing that I just want more than anything is a Group 4 Honda S2000 LM race car. That's all I want from Polyphony. I know it's never going to happen, but if it does, that's all I would ever use. Even if it's the shittiest Group 4 car on the whole game, I would still just use that exclusively. That's like the only thing I want, really. Whatever else we get, I don't really care about. It's like, it's more like, that's cool. Can't complain because it's free. That's why I don't complain about Forza 7, even though it's only like Forza Horizon SUVs that we get for DLC. Because I got the whole game for free along with the Ultimate Pass. Yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking, UFC. Oh, really, Pup King? I don't know. I didn't play that many online matches for GT6 anyways. The only online game that I really played for Gran Turismo was 5, honestly. Because at that time, when GT6 came out, all of my friends had already moved on to, like, Xbox One and stuff. Or they were, you know, either that or around that time they were actually trying to get it, you know? Oh my god, come on, outrun him! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's for sport, Pud King. Finally. You think you're good, huh? Think again, boy. No, I know I'm pretty good, dude. Listen, let me break it down for you like this, rookie. You're gonna go down hard and fast. That's what I'm saying. I've won a couple times. 
Yeah, the original tracks for GT Sport are good. Yeah, Maggiore is like one of the best tracks. Like, I wish it was a real life track, to be honest. Damn it, I couldn't trick him. What the hell happened to him? Yo, kid, that was some ill driving out there, man. You definitely moving up. Oh, thank you, and you, you also gave me a unique hood. I appreciate it. <laughs> Why can't I use racing tires? Good lord. I mean, to be honest, like, the, those tires are, the sport tires are pretty bad. Like, the brakes feel awful in sport, but, <laughs> dude, that's still pretty funny. Like, he wants, he wants you to use freaking racing tires with, with street cars. Alright, who's our next victim? Hey, boy, come on, let's do this. Oh, this has got to be an easy win. There we go, easy win. Yo, you pulled that out of nowhere. Slick race, man. Slick race. Oh, that, that's terrible. No, 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 that's one hurting ride you front on my street. Oh my god, the street cars feel like Arca brakes! Freaking <laughs> Arca brakes! <laughs> yeah, they are pretty weak, dude. I, that's why I hate driving the road cars, because, like, Like, you know, right, other games, like, they, they just have the brakes just fine. I don't know why they exaggerated, like, the amount of distance you have to brake in sport so much. Does your daddy know you slammed it into the wall? Yeah, that's why I don't. Man, I didn't think you'd come around like this. But you got me, man. You got me. See, that's why I don't use. Um, that's why I don't. I don't take off ABS in sport because you barely in any Grand Tourism, even five and six, because when you barely tap the brakes, the car locks up right away. It's so stupid. And I don't use ABS in like a subtle course or eye racing, and the brakes are just fine, you know. Hell, even Forza. Oh well, well, it's the no luck wonder kid. You up to giving up your money? I should be asking you the same question. Wow, they came for the lead. <laughs> no wonder, kid. I know, it backfired big time. <laughs> I might have to make the, um... No, I'm, I'm gonna have the rising part be the same here. I'll probably put like a timestamp on this video or something when I edit it. I really am a movie chicken. Yeah, dude, I'm terrible at racing. 
I'm pretty much the DSP of racing games, bro. Well, I still can't lose this bitch. I'm trying to lose her now. Come on. There you go. Oh, come on. There we go. Yo, I can't bash you for winning. I'll get you next time. Be seeing ya. See ya. How do I use rations? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wait, did wait, wait. Did he play Metal Gear? Yo, dog. Good to see you rolling out tonight. Thanks. There's some action in the Beacon Hill area. No line on an exact location, but it should be easy to find. I'm heading that way. Hope to see you there. So I should mention one thing. Whenever hidden races are discussed by the guy on the phone, whoever discusses on the phone, they lie to you all the freaking time. Dude, send that to me, please. I want to see him play metal. Okay, I kind of don't, but I kind of want to do it at the same time. <laughs> Thanks for that UFC. I'll, I'll definitely look into it. No, but yeah, sometimes they straight up lie to you about the hidden races in this game. They're like, like, do you know what's going on down in Fort Union, dog? But then it ends up being in the stadium instead. I'm just like, oh my god. Like, I when I first played this game by myself, like, like, like a month ago, when I first started playing this seriously and trying to find all the hidden races by myself. They straight lie to you. And do yourself a favor. Get a new ride. No, I'm taking this money. I'm going to get my ride riced out, girl. But anyways. Yeah, they straight up lie to you. And so I have a guide. I have a map with all of the hidden events. Because of the fact that they constantly lie to you in this game. Wow, that backfired on me big time. Well, thank God that's what I have nitrous for. <laughs> In her fake tits for the body kit. <laughs> Cheap and efficient. That should be enough to give me one star. All right, there we go. That was a good throwdown. All right, that's every single. That's every single. What you call it? Um, outrun race. So we've unlocked a unique hood, and we're gonna go get it right now. Because I promised you guys in this segment I would also race out the car in this video. So yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves a full can of nitrous plus a little bit extra, and now it's time to do the special event. Oh, it's just around the way. Okay, cool. All right, let's get our uniques, dog. So unique hoods. Let's see here. We got speed line, factor X, and trap. Those are in carbon fiber. I'm gonna get trap. Then you must be doing something right, cause scoring a part like that doesn't come every day. I've never seen anything like it. Nice work. You've never seen any 
hood like this before. Okay. All right, now it's time to rice out the car. <laughs> um, let's see here. That's an ugly freaking body. Oh my god, that's hideous. Yeah, let's let's get it. <laughs> Why? Why does that exist? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Orion is the best kit. The guys from Bayview's best are filming their next flick tonight. Bring it home, and you'll get in their movie for sure. My car is now a furnace. <laughs> you know what? We might as well do the we might as well do the DVD cover too. My car is now a furnace. How hot it is! <laughs> oh my god. Check it out, bro. You just got featured on the DVD Bayview's Best. Congratulations, dude. So now you're ready to play director for a day. Move your car around the zone and play with the camera angles to get the perfect shot for the perfect cover. <laughs> yeah, all your cars are Ryan. Just press the camera button and snap the pic. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that's so ugly. This is so ugly as car, guys. We're not done racing it just yet, because we got. A decent little payday for doing that magazine shoot, so we can go paint it now. Hey, vinyl is second skin style for your paint, so layer it on. So what I'm thinking is this. Let's see here. Let's do flames. Now, first of all, making your ride stand out is what it's all about. So customize your ride with a color change. Oh my. Yo, you'll find plenty of the sponsor's oh, details Jesus here. Christ. Let the crowd know what's underneath that monster. Oh my god, this is so freaking ugly. <laughs> Let's do Falcon. And <laughs> Butter. Falcon. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> they have street glow stickers. And, um, there's one more thing we gotta do to this car. We're only making this car ugly for the first segment. Only for the first segment. Once we unlock more parts, we're obviously going to make the 240 look way better. The Escalade is the only car that I'm going to make truly ugly, honestly. Or I'm going to make it truly... An eagle? <laughs> I'll see. Damn it, we don't have enough. Alright, so that's all the racing done to the car. Next time on Need for Speed Underground 2, we're going to be going and doing some of the events. Because we have a total of 14 races to do. So we're going to do the first 7 races in Stage 2.